Welcome to Fashion Friday. I'm Mike Harris, and I'm here with my co-host, Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike Nameless. <laughs> so, before we get started, I want to talk for a minute about why I chose you to be my co-host today. And um, I remember you and I having a conversation one time about these ducks. Do you remember these ducks? The ducks, yes, the ducks. I remember the ducks. Yeah, so if you ever go to Mike's bathroom in his house, you'll see these S&M ducks all over. They have like ball gags and like yeah. weird little outfits harnesses, all over your tub. Harnesses, yeah. rub, right. rub, harnesses. Rub, rub my ducky or something <laughs> like that. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's why you're here today, because we both have, you know, the same sense of humor and, uh, you know, deviant thoughts. <laughs> um, but before we get started, let's talk a minute about hipsters. Because what's really cool right now in, in the whole hipster movement, the hipster crowd, is beards. And, and you're like maybe a tenth of the way there if you wanted to be really cool, right? I mean, you have to have a beard that's like this long. I would never. I would never do that. But that's that's what's cool right that's, now, right? That's, that's the lumber sexual movement. <laughs> lumber, I've never heard yeah, that before. Lumber sexual, it's wow. true. Yeah. Get your flannel, uh -huh. grow your beard, right. leave your axe in the car. <laughs> <laughs> because there might be an emergency <laughs> where you need an axe and you got everything else right. there. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean I it kind of pisses me off because I would like to be a little more hipster, but this is as much beard growth as I get. This is as far as I go. I've got like holes up here, mm. patches right here. It's not going to happen for me. Well, I don't know. Got to work with what you got. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I look at like one of those like Asian, like old school, you know, like this, the 60 year old like masters who have like uh -huh. a little tuft that comes uh -huh. down over here and then one like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the only spot where I get good growth. Yeah. Then, then go for the goatee. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, enough about hipsters. Let's get started. So I've curated some um, interesting content. Mainly, this revolves around wintertime fashions. Um, and we'll start off with the first one. So I think this is uh, one, of the, one of the Jenners. Or, and, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kendall yeah. Jenner, right? She's a model. She is. Yeah, like yeah. super. She's not a super yeah, model. Yes, up and coming. Up and coming, maybe, but she does not qualify as supermodel. Almost. All right, well, tell me what you think about this outfit. You know, again, we're talking in the context of wintertime, but she's got a, a black blazer, some looks like leather or faux leather leggings, and these over-the-knee high khaki boots. Mm. Over-the-knee boots are always edgy. I love over the knee boots, and this is why I have you on the show, right? Like, I want someone to agree with me, really, yeah. right? Like, just back yeah. me up. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. Maybe if they were red, I would appreciate it a little bit more. I think red would be too over the top. <laughs> I think red would be way too over the top. That's where you and I disagree. <laughs> okay, so she's got, are those brown or black? That's black. Okay, so black and maybe a dark brown? To... Oh, you see the boots should be dark just, brown? I, yeah. You I don't just, like I the don't khaki? Like, yeah, no. No. All right. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm a little more classically styled. Like, I like, I like edgy, uh -huh. right? Like, sexy, but also classic. Uh -huh. Like, I like, the, I like contrasts. Uh -huh. Let's move on. Really, this is just about boots. Because women, wintertime, leather boots, I mean, it's, it's, it just is. Uh -huh. Right? I like these. And... I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you think? They're a little bit hooker. <laughs> heels like that? Yeah? Those are hooker heels. Yeah. Pay to play. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but if you take a hooker heel and yeah. put it with something conservative, like like a button-up blouse and, and, and maybe something else, uh -huh. maybe some Burberry scarf or something a little more, it doesn't work? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a, is that a stiletto? It is a stiletto. Yeah, yeah that's... Knit cotton um, knee highs. Leg warmers. Yeah, they're leg warmers. Yeah. That's exactly what they are. Yeah. yeah. This is a, you know this... what, though? 1980, think about it. The unitard. The what? Unitard. Oh, unitard. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unitards. Leg warmers. Yes. And you know what I've heard? Unitards are coming back. 
Leotards out, unitards in. Maybe, maybe. I'm not lying. Yeah? True. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about these? Thumbs I, up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. Thumbs down? See, I, I kind of like these, They're right? They're warmers. Because, well, here's why I like them. Because I'm looking at this picture, and you know what I'm seeing in my head? I'm seeing there's nothing else on up top. <laughs> you win. Right? <laughs> right? Like, if, if it's, a, it's a Sunday morning, it's a little bit chilly, and this is all you have on, this yeah. is sexy. This is kind of awesome. Right? Like, my grandmother's could have knit these for you. Right. All right. If you want to talk about wintertime boots and... What fucking not to do? This is it. Like, not a fan. I'm not a fan. I really like them, actually. The buckles, the zipper, the laces. It's detailing. It's good detailing, and I get what they were trying to do, but women don't look good in a boot like this. It's, it's, there is nothing you can do when you put these on your feet to look sexy. I have to agree with you there for what I'm... Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're like, you're in Seattle, uh -huh. in, the, in the woods, uh -huh. right, with yeah. the evergreens. Yeah, but that's the way women look in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to never go there. <laughs> no, but they have this kind of rugged chic. Right, and that's and... what that is. And I'm not a fan of that. Mm. <laughs> All right, moving on. So, here you got a shot. I don't know what's going on here. Like, are these less stripper than the last pair of stilettos we looked at? I mean, based on what you've selected here, <laughs> all of these, yes, all of these are hooker boots. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but, and look, these come way up the thigh. Yeah. But it's too much, you think? It's a lot of leather. It's a lot and, of and black, I, yeah. and it's a lot of leather. I would agree. But I kind of like the boots. The, the platform is nice. It probably costs a lot of money, though. Well, that means it's nice, right? <laughs> no, that means there's too much leather. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Moving on. So, this is, this is an interesting look. So you've got this red, like... I was mohair? That, like, fur. Yeah, mohair. Perfect. Red mohair sweater combined with these big googly glasses uh -huh. and um, like a metallic blue vinyl skirt, which I actually, I actually like this one. And, I, and this is why. Because this is a perfect example of contrast. You've got, there could be nothing more opposite than mixing vinyl with mohair. I would like it more if she accessorized with some naughty, like, professor glasses. No, no I, you know, I totally agree. I'm not a fan of the bug eye yeah. glasses, but they, they do kind of match the outfit. I, but she's got a pretty face, and it's all glasses. It's mixed. You know, you're missing it. Yeah, that's a good point. I think you're dead on. Yeah. Gorgeous. Love this jacket, right? Gorgeous. Here's what's good about this jacket. Not only is it, is it crisp mm -hmm. and the material is high quality, you can tell that just from the image, but the detailing, the pleats right at the waist as they go down, they draw in the eye to that part of the body, mm -hmm. which if you're like this woman, um, I think you want that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, to, to cinch the waist and the, the darts in the back. Right. And then to, to kind of exaggerate that out with the, with the pleats, very nice effect. Right. Yeah, love that jacket. Now, Burberry has been doing a lot of stuff with latex, which I find really interesting. Um, and this is, this, this is a whole ensemble, right? I mean, it's this blood red, um, crimson red. It's a jacket mixed, again, with like a mohair, and then she's got the cable knit sweater, and then she's got these very sleek um, leggings or, or tight fit pants. Like, uh -huh. what, what's your feel on this? It works. It almost looks like that's a convertible on the bottom. She can take the fur off and, and go for a little, a little edge. Right, like after a dark. motorcycle after jacket dark, yeah. type style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After, after dark she can, she can drop the, the waistcoat and, and go for something a little more sassy. Yeah, 
I, that that would be cool. I have no idea if that's how it works. It probably does because it looks like that's the way the zipper zips. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I love the stuff that Burberry has done recently with with the latex. I think it's it's awesome. Red, semi-transparent trench. What are your feelings on this? Love it if it's raining. Right. Of course. Of course. Hetcher. <laughs> Mike, you can't wear this if it's not raining. This makes no sense if right. it's not raining. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Uh -huh. well, these these two models, you, you know, the whole shot here is kind of dark and... I it has to be a total picture. You can't wear one of those pieces without the other, without looking out of place. And these two girls have put on a good total picture. Yeah, the coat with the... the uh, well, I don't know if that's a boot or if that's a legging. <laughs> what does it look like to you? Um, well, there's an edge. Maybe it's a... No, nah, yeah, I think that's the end of the boot. Yeah, the end of the boot. She gets a pass on this one. All right, thank you, Hatcher, yeah. because I love, yeah. I love that if that is a boot. Uh, I think that's awesome. Um, but anyway, obviously, I like trashy boots, so... <laughs> I'm not a hard read. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to surprise you. All right. I am. I'm okay. going to surprise you with this one right here. Okay. All right? All right, what's your take on this? <laughs> um, speechless. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if there's anything that describes this. Paris Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Zuhair Murad, I don't know. It's, uh, it's bondage inspired. It's Leather and, and laces and... Not lace. Laces. Yeah. Here's the thing about this. I, I actually hate this. Really? Right? I hate it because, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's totally bondage and S&M inspired, but number one, no normal person can wear this. No normal person can wear this. You look crazy, yeah. right? Um, and number two, this thing was super expensive to make, mm. right? Like, you, you're not going to wear this in your bedroom. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no function for this. No. There's no function Unless for it. Unless you're going to the arena. What's Gladiator. the arena? Oh, Gladiator oh arena. okay. Yeah, yeah, right? Unless you got a shield <laughs> yeah. and like some daggers yeah. or something. Shira. Yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of thing. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, no, this is just crazy. I don't, I can't get down with it. I don't know. Did, you thought I was going to love it, didn't you? I did. I did. <laughs> I threw in some curveballs okay. for you. Um, all right. So no fashion review. <laughs> would be complete without uh, Kim Kardashian, right? I mean, let's just throw one in. What do you think of this outfit? It's black, it's white, it's blah. <laughs> yeah, man, like, I can't even see, like, what's going on with all this, the, the black part yeah. here. It, yeah. it totally is, is invisible. And um, as much as I love uh, hooker boots, I don't, I don't know if I yeah. love these. They're, they're just, they're not styled. They don't seem to quite fit right. They actually make her lower leg look fat. Yeah. The yeah. entire outfit is uninspiring. It, it's, a good, it's a good way to put it. Sorry, Kim, you failed us. Should have gotten some Miley Cyrus up in here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about this one. This one's kind of interesting. So take, take a close look. Tell me, what, tell me what you see. Tell me what you think. She should be in the arena also. I don't know. See, I like the spikes. I don't know about the spikes. This is a jacket that's too boring on its own to be cool. Uh -huh. You add the spikes and it takes it in a whole different direction. Uh, I, I just... I think it's pushing the envelope. I think it's pushing the edge. But I, I kind of like it. A classic trench with... with Spikes, uh, like a motorcycle jacket. Yeah, I don't know. It's good contrast. It is good contrast, but I don't know if you would see this walking down the street. Well, yeah, and I mean, again, I think it's really, it's definitely pushing the envelope of what you would see on the street. But I, I think, I think you could pull this off in the right city. Mm. You, you need to be in New York or L.A. or one of the one of the areas where you can get away with this. Okay. <laughs> That one I'm not sure about. <laughs> All right. So this is kind of a casual 
shot. What are your thoughts? I like the skirt. I love quilted leather. I think it's something mm -hmm. that's trending right now. Um, quilted nylon, quilted leather. Yeah, I think it's a cool yeah. look. It's interesting. I mean, 10 years ago, you would never see somebody wearing quilted leather. It would be on a sofa or a handbag. Mm -hmm. And now, here it is on a pencil skirt. I, yeah. I think that's cool. So here we've got uh, black men's um, fairly standard trench. What, what do you think? I don't like the belt. Hmm. What don't you like about it? Mm, it's it's not it's not a tight cinch. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds me of like a piece of sushi that has like a little is it seaweed that they tie around it. Yeah. Yeah. Where it kind of cinches it just enough so mm -hmm. things don't fall out. Right. Yeah. Um, beautiful jacket. Yeah. The belt wasn't there. Yeah. I kind of agree. I like the detailing on the wrists though. And I like, I like the structure of it, uh, the style of it. Let's move on. So here's another jacket. Um, now this is, this is a crocodile print, uh, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> what are your thoughts? It still looks alien to me. Yeah, it's the color. I think maybe if this were in black, it would be okay. Isn't that the color of crocodiles? That like greenish tint? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But you don't actually want to wear a crocodile. You just want to kind of simulate it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think this might be passable if it were solid black. Uh, Maybe. But the green really. No. 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 Do you have green print? No. Just no. black. Just black. Yeah. Okay. We don't let people make that mistake <laughs> at MJ Trends. <laughs> All right. So let's check out this one. Um. Here's what I think is notable about this, and what is normally would normally be a mistake, is you you cannot do a leather mini skirt with leather leggings. It's it's too much, but there's something about this photo that works. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I like the um, the shine on the on the leggings or whatever they are. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I think the fact that this sweater is covering up so much of the skirt uh -huh. probably makes it passable to, to have two sort of major leather pieces together. Uh -huh. I don't know, that's my take. Um, I don't know who this is, but let's just go ahead and say this is horrible, right? Is this yeah. horrible? Do you like it? No, that's like sorority girl on uh, Saturday morning or Sunday morning. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Like you get this big poof jacket and then, uh -huh. and then these, again, like the military boots that I'm not a fan of. And then the socks pulled up over the, right. the leather leggings. Like it doesn't work. Leg warmers. Ah. <laughs> Moving on. What do you think about this? That's a beautiful sweater. Yeah, so there's actually instructions on how to make this thing. Huh. Um, this was from a DIY blog that I came across, and I thought this was super cool. Um, yeah, the style of it. I've never seen anything that looked quite like that. I, I thought that was really unique. It's almost like a wraparound dress. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a wraparound just a, sweater. Yeah. All right, men's leather pants. What do you think? Yeah or nay? They're heavy and hot. <laughs> hot in a good way or hot in a bad way? Well... Who finds it know. hot besides the wearer? Right? You get the right crowd, it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, I, I mean, again, so, you know, went with a casual shoe and the sweater, maybe it works. I'm kind of iffy on it. I don't really like the sweater. Yeah. Let's see. So here's another one. I think this one works a lot better. I think, I think the pants themselves look a little more high-end. They're a little more fitted. The sweater, again, it's a little more high-end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like if, that one. That, that almost is a classic look. Um, right. Because if you're a guy and you're going to wear leather pants, you need to probably ha go for more of a classic look, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're already edgy enough. Uggs. 
this was a this was a brand that made their name after what men say when they see them. Ugh! I, like I want to vomit. These are so horrible. Like women, please never never wear these outside of like some. First of all, they're Australian, right? Does that matter? And they're a snow boot. Does it snow in Australia? No, no. Then why would Australians make a snow boot? Yeah, obviously they don't know what they're doing. I women rave about the comfort of these things. Here's my advice: like, please only wear them around other women. <laughs> or like, like the soccer mom, like yeah. the, the school pickup, um, oh. those types of things. It, I hate these. I I hate these so much. It it's making me sick to my but, stomach. But you know, it's not a good boot to begin with. Especially if the snow is deep. It's made <laughs> you of suede. cannot wear these in it's the made... snow. Yeah, but look at the if snow on them. That's marketing. <laughs> I think that's glitter. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I don't know. These are so bad. Uh -huh. These are so bad. Yeah. Please go out of business. Please just yeah. die. They won't. All right. So let's end on a high note. What do you think about these? Gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Finally. Yeah. A pair of boots we can agree on. Yeah. Right? Below the knee. Yeah, they're not quite as sexy as I would like. And but the beige and the cream, it's a nice palette. Yes. Yeah. She's, she's pulled it all together well with the with the blonde hair. Totally. Every everything about this she did right. I don't think everyone can pull this off, but you're right. Like the a blonde with blonde hair, the colors all go together really well. Her height and the dress and the amount of legs showing with the boot, it all works yeah. really nicely. It all comes together. Yeah. Well, that's it, folks. That's all we had for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, our first episode of the fashion blog. We'll have many more coming your way. If you're watching this and you're not on MJTrends.com, please head on over there. The link will be posted below. Um, you can download all the images or check them out further uh, at, our, at our blog. And uh, anyway... Happy Friday. It's Fashion Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> High five.